and welcome everybody back to session number four on day one of the UK Open singles qualifier. We have a local interest in this live streaming where we have the home club's Brett Art League and he's up against Norfolk, I think it's Norfolk's Jack Wells. That's for those who don't know Brett, that's Brett on the mat and Jack is wearing the, the white shirt and playing with the orange Taylor Blazers, size 2. I did ask him if there were 5s or 6s and he says well with these hands. And Brett playing with his old fearfuls, Tiger Aces, also size 2. go through the the other games in a minute makes a change I've done it for you 20 years Heavy that like. And I wasn't flying like this. I'll speak to That's stupid here, yeah. find out what's going on. Well, I'm gonna play a for tomorrow. No play profile folks, so we're just gonna make it up like we usually do. So it's called Jack. Surname's Wells. <laughs> Plays balls. I said Norfolk. Anybody, I'm just waiting for anybody to come back and say he's not Norfolk. Yeah, he's definitely Norfolk. He plays with Dan Seaborn, I believe, in the uh, under 25 pairs, I think. If uh, anybody wants to correct us. Uh, just run through the other games at the minute. Uh, we have got Mark Higgins taking on Martin Rogan. Craig Newton playing Stuart Wiley. Aaron Johnson playing Conrad Morrison. Charlie Benz, Charles Benz, in case I get wrong, is playing Russell Buick. Graham Harrow is playing Gary R. Smith. And of course, the last game, uh, the one they're streaming, Jack Wells playing Brett Arkley. I think there's one thing I can say if you say, mate. Young Jack will have to be uh, quick out the traps, mate. Absolutely. Won't he? Against yeah. uh, Brett. The only bonus is that it's it's not on the natural rinks of Stanley, so it's. A bit of the unknown, I suppose. A bit of the it? unknown, yeah. Brett's, Brett's probably only had about 43 hours on it over the last three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So they've had the try and ends. And. Uh, just confirm that the umpires have been under string out again. And uh, yeah, I think there was a little bit of a query on uh, one of the jacks, wasn't there? It was yeah. slightly out. I think we had one eager live viewer who was claiming that the mat was out, wasn't there? Right? Yeah, it wasn't. Uh, I think it's just the angle of the just camera. the angle of the dangle, wasn't it, mate? Not a bad opener from Jack. That's struggling for a bit of pace, I think. For anybody just tuning in, it's going to be like a broken record this time, every time I've got this here. You're know, busy watching the UK Open qualifiers being streamed live from Stanley by the Wrong Bias podcast. They are playing for 11 places, so 11 golden tickets into the main event that takes place on Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We are currently in session four of eight today. And we have the same tomorrow and possibly the same on Wednesday as well. 
the three viewers we've had all morning, mate, are saying, do you have to say that again? <laughs> <laughs> yes. There's people phoning up telling me. There's a man who will know about uh, Jack. So, uh, Mr. Mr. Blogsy Seaborn's watching there. So, I've just said he plays with Dan, I believe. Tony, is that right, in the under-25s? I think they qualified for the pairs, if I remember rightly. Who's that one by you? Maybe you're getting the, maybe you're getting the sharp short shot. Have we got an umpire standing in front of the camera? <laughs> Where's Bernie when I need her? Yeah, it's gonna be, there's gonna be words. Get out of the way. There you go, give, correct. Give Your facts are correct. Thank you, Tony. Just put a couple of cartridges in the gun. If he does it once more, he's getting his head blown off. Anything for you folks watching at home. <laughs> if you knock him down, you win a duck. <laughs> Chuck didn't like that one. Bernie's listening. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Bernie, have a word. <laughs> yeah. Have you not got these earpieces, Bernie? Oh, yeah. Sorry, <laughs> And uh, Dan was Jack's best man at his wedding to Abby last year. Oh, Missed a trick with that one, I think. Yeah, uh, one and a look, is it? Maybe still two. I think Brett's put the yeah, two. It is two. Bernie says we're hilarious. <laughs> we were just we were just born with these looks, Bernie. That's all it was. <laughs> just yeah. tell us when you're coming in, Bernie, because we're doing a runner. Some finals next session, is that right? Jason says, I think the first of the, I think the three finals possibly on the next three session. Three finals on the next session, mate, yes. Uh, getting to the, uh, getting to the nitty gritty golden ticket stage. Yeah, we've got the group final of group A, group B, and group C. And if I dig my list out with the draw. They are playing the pleasure of playing Mr. F Paul Foster, MBA, Michael Stepney, and Mervyn King. Michael Stepney, who's he? Never heard him. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, Dave, he's got a sweat on. Hold on. <laughs> Great start from Jack. Luke Manane, do most indoor clubs in the UK have a blue surface? No, they don't, Luke. They're, um, the majority are green, but um, a lot of the clubs, when they, haven't, uh, when they are having to change the carpet, seem to be going for the blue option. I think it's uh, cost more than, more than anything else. I think they're cheaper than the green, is that right? I think you're probably right. I think if uh, there's a, don't know why, a but few clubs get a free offer, don't they? 
you get a free offer of a blue carpet. Right. Have you got a preference? I quite like the blue carpet personally. But I think it's because I don't play much on the blue carpet. I prefer the green. Right. That's just uh, if I played on. I think if I was a member of Stanley, I'd probably prefer the blue. Jack's laying a good two here. And he's covered the uh, the old spot. stick with his forehand. I don't think he's, he'll draw it till the cows come on. Yeah. Not a mile away. A decent line, his pace looks good. Oh, what a ball this is, he's got the port as well. I'll we'll have to have a word with that up there. Sorry Bernie. He saw that ball coming in for the umpire, but it was a cracker. He, he did stand right in front. But, uh, we'll have a we'll have a little word. I'll threaten him. Decent. Just going on Jack. Do it again, I'm going to walk around. <laughs> it. Now that I've seen that little note from Tony, I can remember us from the Manchester Open. He was on ring six, mate. He was. <laughs> we thought he'd won. And, uh, that was right, I got the ball completely the opposite way around. I would tell it was. <laughs> Alex says we need to wave louder. <laughs> Start from Jack again. Never a bad ball at the back. Brett isn't quite nailing a centre line here at the minute. He's under again here. He's had a few balls that have drifted either side. Not bad. Not bad. He wants to just roll around the back of his own to be nice. And he has. Very good. A few Jack Wells supporters on here. Matt Warnes, David Wells. Relation, David, I'm presuming. Getting frustrated with that hand. He's had a bit of a double on the other side. This is where Jack needs to press home a bit of advantage here, because Brett is certainly not um, ranging at the minute. 
we know when he does he's pretty good and I was talking to him before the game and I asked him what the pace was like this morning he said it was a little bit sluggish like so I don't know whether it might be sluggish for Brett might be quick for everybody else mm. He's getting down here. Oh, he's not bad. Not bad if he runs. Yep, he's in there. Good balls. It could be three down here, mate. <laughs> Adjustment. Does he go back down the other hand? Mm. Catch his own on the way if he's a little bit tight or he gets up with the orange. Yeah, he has. Get in. <laughs> Get in. Pull up. Mm, he's still on. Mm. Still, tight. still tight. Still tight. This cry for breath. David Wells is Jack's dad who's commenting on, uh, on the post. He didn't bother to do a per personal profile, David, so if you can just let us know what his weight was at birth. <laughs> Uh, what what his favourite <laughs> food was as a baby would be good. Anything you like. <laughs> Tony's keeping us updated as well. He says he beat Greg Arlo in an open singles event four, three, three or four years ago. He's lived off it ever since. <laughs> I hope he doesn't watch this part, mate. You gotta get your head punched in. <laughs> He's done exactly what you said he needed to do. He's hit the ground running. Get some good balls. Dad says any food and plenty of it. <laughs> didn't like it, but he's still trundling on it. It's across the jug, isn't he? He didn't like it. I'd hate to say the ones he does like. That's what you like, mate, when you play the opposition. This is oh, tight. <laughs> Shark out. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I'm not up. <laughs> Decent line from Brett. Yes. Good ball. Yep. Last ball shot. That's the winner. He's down the neck. Does he bend down to the jab? Has he got the port? No, he's got the port. Well, I must admit, I've watched two games on here now, trying to get tips for tomorrow, and I still haven't got a clue what hand I'm playing. <laughs> Nobody seems to be like consistently going down one or the other. Yeah. I think he'd be going at it again. Happy. A little bit time this time. Oh, hi, yeah. Gives himself a bit more percentage. This needs to drop. It needs to drop. Oh, he got a oh, result. Oh, nice. Got a result. For Brett there, I thought he'd gone on. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, he's kicked the every pipe in now. Okay, well, a good commentary, Richie, and Dave. Keep, keep, keep picking the right shots. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I kept picking the right shots for you when he played with you for years and years. You just never played them. <laughs> <laughs> Ross Cowan, if Beth beats Morris, is she in the last 32? Fantastic young ball. And is, it, is that first game for Beth, that one, against Morris? Yeah. Yeah, it's only the first game, so she'll have. She'll, you've got to win four games, It'll I think, to the, qualify. Be the start of her group. Yeah. So you've got to win four games to qualify, Ross. So it's like it's her first game of the session. So the, the day is broken into two. So after this session, we've got three finals, which will qualify the first sessions, and then the uh, the second session will sort of kick in after that. Makes sense. In fact, she's, she's actually felt canny because she'll only have to play three games because she was supposed to play Ken Chan. All oh, right. In the. She got to buy the first game. She got to buy, yeah, because right. he's uh, he didn't appear. So she's technically in the last. Well, she's in the semi-final of her group. Semi, yeah. Yeah. So she would she would just have to win two games. I say just have to win three games. Sorry. Back on the ranch. Four three. 4-3 to Jack, four ends played, and a better start from Brett. We'll keep you up to date with the other scores. Yeah, he's certainly finding his range now. Needs to stick with him here. He's just lost his pace a little bit. Just them two runners, mate. Yeah. Again, again, eh? Not quite. Pierce. Yeah, he's not a mile away from the front ball. Pretty close. Oh, he's got the gap. Oh. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Sacre Blair. Couldn't have played the ball much better, to be fair. Mm. I've got a feeling I might go a little bit quicker at this. I've got everything crossed I'm right here. <laughs> Toes is crossed, <laughs> legs is crossed, I'm not even going to tell you what else is crossed. <laughs> I can just see Keith, I can just see Keith shaking his head. <laughs> He's just ready to type it. <laughs> to hang on a touch, got to change or something, mm, he's still two down. Dale Hudson, good to see coloured tops, relaxed dress code at the tournaments, I uh, hope it filters down to club level, I'd like to think it would filter down to club level quicker than it does in these tournaments to be fair, Dale it needs to happen, just get people on bowling greens, struggling enough for members to start with, just get them on and get them playing balls, all this messing around with having to wear greys and whites. Great thing about this tournament as well. It's normally uh, we normally see this type of thing in reds and greens like we do down at Potters, but uh, you can wear whatever top you want and play with your own balls, which I think is a major step in the right direction as well. Now he 
he's got five four on the board. I thought it was. Yeah, it was. That's right. Brett got a two there. He was four three down. This is when he didn't look earlier because I had Jack six three up. <laughs> I says, you just keep talking, son, you keep talking, he's, he's never done what the Steve Boy's picked this up. <laughs> I, could hear the I could hear the groans in the Norfolk area when I changed that score back. from Brett. Starting to range now mate like you he said. Yes he is. And Jack really started off well on a length and like you said I think those two quick runners have just knocked him a little bit. It's close here. Right down at the ball. No not quite. Good ball in from Brett. Yeah, good stuff. Oh, sat right behind as well, has he? Doesn't make it any easier for Jack. I don't think he'll go quick, mate. And he is. Under the shot ball. Mm, didn't help him either. I don't, think I don't think it's going to put Brett off, mate. The runners. To know Mr. Stedman. Time for a bit of balls beyond. Great to see your new venture going well as well, Dan. Uh, would he go again, Matt? I think. Set I think the way he's set will probably be gone if he misses. Slightly changed that a touch, I think. Uh, Jack in the ditch clean gets on the set, doesn't it? So. And it gets him the uh, sorry, gets him yeah. two, yeah. Get Drop on the draw. Rear plan. So this is He's wide. Uh, I'm gonna sound like an old record here. Come like, on, but mate. I can't understand why you go quick with your third ball uh, when really it wasn't a quick shot. <laughs> and then the shot where you want to go quick, you take the time it in. Yeah. Worst case scenario, you go straight through it, cling two of the balls or out the way, and it gives you a chance going to the last end. Jack in the ditch, you one up in the last. Uh, not for me, that one. No, I must admit I agree, mate. And the, to be fair, the kid, he started off well and all. He did. He, he started did start off well. That, he did start really well. And, you know, looking back, the two quick runners that he played at that point didn't need to be played at that point. He was only one down. Just keep drawing in there and get a good, keep, yeah. keep that pace going. And so it's like we see all the time, isn't it? It's game management at yeah. the end of the day. You've got, you can only do what you do when you're out there. You, you're the one making the decisions, but hindsight's a wonderful thing when you look back on the game and think, should I have? Brett's found his straps now. I don't think it's easy outdoor or indoor to play a quick running ball and then drop back on the draw but I would say it's easier outdoors. Indoors I think when you start going quick it just knocks you out of sync. Yeah. For me. I think outdoors you, you've probably got a couple of feet within your pace haven't you really? Yeah. See, so he blogs he agrees with us. Play a different game to us old boys, I agree with you. <laughs> 
they'd take, yeah. and they'd take on the one side and give them a good <laughs> slap and that's what they need. <laughs> Young ones are there. Don't forget the that's a series done away with. <laughs> Easy leave it, you just shut up. <laughs> I've already had deed on. <laughs> On a serious note, it's something that's changed in the game and things have gone a lot more attacking but there is still a lot to be said over the old game of building ahead and manufacturing your heads and playing the right shot at the right time. Yeah. I think there's too many players leave themselves in complete limbo too many times by choosing a nothing shot. They miss that they're in a worse position than what they were yeah. when they played in the first place. And, and I reckon, nine times out of ten, if you were sitting there watching the game... You wouldn't play it? Yeah. He's played a good now. Well played, son. Yeah, he's given himself a little bit of a chance. Brett's, that Brett's main objective is just to beat that front orange ball. Beat, yeah. Nothing, nothing sensational. Just get within a yard and beat that front ball. Doesn't really give him anything. It's gone wider, mate. Like you say, he just needs to beat that. Uh, I mean, the spot, the spot does both jobs as well, doesn't it? As long as he beats that front orange ball. Needs to run. Tell you what, oh, he hasn't done it. Now well, he's got a chance. Now no. he's got a chance. That little door's been left open here. Ditch side or the inside, on that. I think he's got to go ditch side, hasn't he, to get the right result. Get full contact on it. Called it. Can we have it? Yeah, you may take it all back. Doesn't look wide enough to me, right? Doesn't run far, mate. Oh, I thought he had the thin edge. Yeah, he got the thin. One it is. It doesn't matter, Dread. It don't matter. Go on, Brett, keep up. <laughs> <laughs> so that's first set to Mr. Arkley. For this Jack the Globe, did you say the Oscars last night, mate? I did, I. What was all that about? <laughs> well, I've, I've had a little look. You better watch what we're saying on here. <laughs> no, somebody will come straight out and smash her straight in the face. <laughs> well, I didn't know what it was about, but from what I've had a little bit look about, he's, he's had a dig at his wife before. I think it's. Uh, Did history come back? Uh, yes, I think so. I. But, uh, wouldn't surprise us if the uh, police are knocking on his door for GBH. That common assault, wouldn't it? Mm. Doesn't matter whether you're, you're Will Smith or whoever you are. It's it was just one of them absolute cringe moments, wasn't it? <laughs> it was. He didn't know what to say, what to do. No. The crowd was stunned. They didn't know whether it was a <laughs> set, up. set up or what. But then I think when he was, did you see the uncensored version though? Yeah. Have you not seen it? Oh, when they've they bleeped it all out. Oh yes, I did hear yeah, what he was uh, shouting yeah. in the crowd. Yeah. I think that sort of gives the game away that and maybe it wasn't a set up. No. <laughs> anyway, back the balls, Oscars. Oh, <laughs> Who's going to get the first slap of the day? <laughs>
Just looking at the other games, uh, Russell Buick took the first set against Charles Bentz. haven't progressed yet to the conclusion of their first set yet. Jack just needs to get a get a draw in, maybe, get, a, he? get, get a draw and pick get his that, head up. Yeah, get that one ball because Brett's still not exactly, you know, he's just putting good solid balls in, but he's leaving them chances. Uh, Craig Newton off our previous stream which took the first set against Stuart Wiley. Good ball from Brett. Definitely want to see if that's two or three. Oh, no indication definitely. I think I'll we'll have a bet on it's been two mate. I think he likes it. No, he doesn't. Doesn't like this. Doesn't like it. Just lost that pace, man. Yes. That hand definitely drags on the on the high side. Looking at it. Three, I think. Four, was a four. Blimey. Oh, spy, God. I thought he might have played ditch on me. Get a grab of that ball. It was an open draw, I suppose. Just needed to get good away. That line wasn't too bad by the looks of it. He got back down to centre in the end. It was just a carry in a yard, that was all. comments there just about what we we're talking about with the Oscars there I'll not go into it because obviously it's uh, but you know there's definitely history there yeah seemed like a, a very strange outburst for something that was just said in a presentation all right back to us Jack needs to get all of this now chasing this set doesn't look like a bad start. On by Am I right in saying that Charles Bence was the fellow who qualified? Beat Nicky in the first round of the World Championship That's it. about four or five years ago, yeah. I think, wasn't it? Nice, nice guy, Charlie. Nice guy. Just had a bit chat with him there. He was saying played played two off the bounce. I heard I heard his mention earlier on that he'd gone straight on after he's after his first game, I yeah. think, and this is uh, hard work out there. Sort of corresponds to what Bloggs is asking us. Is Stanley still the hottest club in the UK? It's not too bad in either day, is it? It's I'm presuming it's warm it's out on that green. Already, man. Sitting over here, it, it seems to be the typical warm and cold. It's a little bit breezy on my legs. Anybody's got a blanket? Yeah, put your socks back on. <laughs> oh, no. I haven't had my shoes on since eight o'clock. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> I know this is too much information, but I went to the loop for a wee <laughs> and I didn't have my shoes on. I'm saying, maybe it's not the rightest thing to do. <laughs> you didn't get that on the BBC, yeah. I'll tell you. <laughs> Everybody said, ooh. I've been, I've been trying to find out where your cheesy what's it's a store, but. <laughs> <laughs> He's in there. Mm, got a result. And that just give him a little bit of a bit of a boost getting that one. But I'll just keep plowing balls in. What a decent line, are you, Brett? Nice. Oh, Unlucky, actually, cracking ball. Yeah. 
Gary R. Smith took the first set against Graham Harroa. Not bad, are you, Jack? Decent line. Well done, Not with bad at all. Brett's already clapping it. Yep, well played. It's a boost for the lad. It's a bit of a pick up, four to two. It was much needed as well. Get some, get some into that set. If you can back it up in this end as well, it negates that four. Dale Hudson, do either of you have any pre game rituals, superstitions, or not have any players that do? Keep it clean. Our, uh, Sometimes wear the same pair of socks throughout the tournament. I don't like to change them. That's not because it's uh, it's not because it's superstition. It's just got to be bothered to change my socks. <laughs> yeah, job. yeah. Sometimes I won't change my socks, and uh, not really, not really any pre-game rituals. To be honest with you, I used to I used to like to turn up five minutes before and walk straight on the green. But older I've got, I like to have a couple beforehand and just relax. Sure of any others? Can you think of anybody who's no, got any superstitions or no? No. Oh, the, who was the lad that used to um, group the four balls? Oh, did you not used to group the four balls? Well, I do. I, I do that all the time. Because I think we mentioned on the podcast. This is I just get in. The, next time you play a ball, you just get in and kick the balls the ball. away. I, I, <laughs> always, I always like to separate the balls at the back. Uh, that's just to kill time as much as anything else. To be fair, it's gonna make a little pattern. <laughs> <laughs> A good line. Jack, Jack likes hard. to eat six or seven hash browns from McDonald's before a game. Tell you what. He's had some grief on it today. Though. If he watches his back, there's going to be a few Chinese burns when he gets back. <laughs> Don't see you, son. Just needs to get a grab. Oh. I am a big believer in having a routine before it, before you play an each ball. So you do that same thing on a on a regular basis. And Smithy's got a couple of quirks, hasn't he? he does when he needs a big ball, he, he, he and he's got the last one. He tends to. Look behind and twizzle it. I've seen him do it a few times. It generally works, you know. Well, not bad here, Jack. Course again, eh, Jack? Just needs to run. Just needs to run. Oh, he's half a pound. Great pace as well. Stopped having big meals before games and all. You know how much I like my food, but I used to, I used to, I'd go for breakfast or something before a game. And right, I've played some games where I could barely bend over. <laughs> so I've stopped all that. So far, uh, that's why I'm only ten stone wet through. <laughs> In one side of the body. <laughs> go see your breath. No, oh, he's well played. What do you reckon, mate? Over well, Pierce? Cunt, that's going to be bad. The idea wants to catch the outside of his ball to release the jack, but he cannot really afford to because if his own ball goes off the top edge and no movement, he's two down with another ball to come. But I know if I'd have just been trying to draw another one close down the back end. Oh, he is as well. Just needs to hang on. Oh, he's lifted up to the jack for his own, right? I think he 
might I have. I think he has, getting shot out of it. Dead on the far side, Martin Rogan has took the first set against Mark Higgins. I see a Brett's on. It's very close. Oh, is he a pound light? Oh. I need an umpire on, unless Brett's going to give it away. Yeah, Brett's give it away. Want the, want the young Jack? Three. Coming to the fourth end. He's done what he said. Back that other end up. Back in the set. Big style now. Solid start from Jack again. Coming down on that. Mm, he didn't really come down that wide line, did he? Few people at that line today, though, like, like in line with that spot, aren't they? Yeah. They get that it's touch high. Good again here if he slows in. Yeah, not the worst ball in the world. Grab. Mm, yep, just enough, I think. Good line again, eh? Close to this jack, isn't he? Oh, he's played a cracker, eh? Yeah, he's played a cracker, well played. I don't think Brett will be short of this down the back end. Just having a little toddle through that. It might be interesting to watch this line here. It's people that's played runners down this side haven't getting down. Look at that. He's got a nice, nice wide target to get down, like which helps. Doesn't yes. like it. Yeah. Oh, oh my word. My giddy giddy ant. Yankee Doodle Dandy. Saying they'll count me. They do. Tim, uh, Aaron Johnson, I believe, was up in. Yes, he won the first set, Tim. So he's, uh, they're just playing the first end of the second set, and Aaron won the first. Jeff didn't make that. You'd 
expect Brett to, to yes. nail a second in here, mate. Don't know if I would have just tried to draw that. Giving, giving Brett a good yard to make it two. Even if he got the ball clean, I think he was still leaving Brett quite a bit of room, wasn't yeah. he? We all play the right balls on this side. <laughs> <laughs> well, I kind of call them, but I can play the right ones. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, that should be enough. Good enough, yeah. Two. Two, yeah. Just a quick update on other scores whilst we're about to start this end. Uh, Martin Rogan uh, won the first set against Mark. Mark was up in that set when I first looked across. Um, Russell Buick won the first set against Charlie Vance and is 4-1 up in the second. So he's comfortably in control of that game. And Craig Newton, who was on our live stream in the last game, won the first set but is 5-3 down after four ends in the second set. And Gary Smith is 3-1 up in the second set, having won the first set after three ends. So that's your little round-up. Oh, a bit of a loose opener from Brett. Need to fill your boots, Jack. Yep, get in there. Probably needs to score the send, mate, I would think. Definitely. Definitely. Ball from Brett, but still plenty of room for Jack. Much better with this. Just needs to run. Just needs to run. Not quite. from Brad. He fancies the uh... oh, He's got to be better with this. Got to be better with this. Yep, very good. Well played. Well played. Bad now that oh, he's played a good now. Very close, will he? Yeah, still going to be one down, I think. Jack's got to make this one count. Bit of a nasty one for him in some respects. I think he could play a great ball and probably sit the jack and still only be one. Jack. Oh, that's a great ball, well played Jack. I know. Yep, uh, great ball. He's just, he's just getting over that same too. <laughs> he 
gives him another chance. change mate, not up the wicket. To note that the winners of all these six games on at the minute will be one game away from getting a place in the golden ticket match. from that camera work. <laughs> okay. Brent needs a slow touch here or has he got the jack? Oh he has touched the jack and ran in. Oh, right in the edge. Next to the match, this is a huge ball. Needs to get this shot. Needs to slow. Needs to slow. Oh, he's got the jack as well. What a oh, ball that is. Hilarious. What a ball that is. Little backhand timer down, down for the jack and the ditch for two, I think, for Brett here. Have a good look at this, Brett. No danger of playing it, he can't go any more down than what he is. Jack in the ditch makes two. Keep going this one then. There you go. Is he going to bend? I don't think so. There we go. Just didn't get out. 6-6 six, six playing the last. Credit to Jack. Scrapped hard in this set. Have to drop in a four in the first end. Will he take it up again, Matt? Or not? Matt right up. First ball bin the Jack. Sit right on top. <laughs> Did the a mess about her at my. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's got a little bit shorter with the mat. So, Jack needs shot here. If he gets a shot, he can drag it into a tie break. To opener does not look the worst opener. What a ball! Well played. Well played. Either one for you, Mackay. What do you prefer, front toucher or back toucher? 
Well, on this kind of an end. Any end. Any end. I've thought any touch of that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be delighted with any touch of the minute. <laughs> I always think the, I always I, think I, the front touch. I think the front touch because you put the lights out. Yeah. You certainly don't want to be short with this, Jack. You want to be just passing your last ball. Passing the ball and nowhere near it. And he is. He's good. Yeah. Good ball. Not a good position this for Brad at all, even early in this end. Better just be looking to make this a bit wider, mate. Pierce mm. doesn't look bad. It's not far away, I'll tell you. It's not far away from drawing this. Very close here. Oh, oh, what an effort. Well, mate, what would you do here? Avoid putting anything. Drop it up the wicket. Avoid or putting anything they'd next not to even it. Put anything up the wicket. I think I'd be going. I think I'd be going same hand and just going a touch higher, just trying to get anything between the, the black and the orange ball. As it stands at the minute, Brett can't go quick because he got nothing far enough back. <laughs> Question marks whether you've ever had one, Tony. Front toucher. Yeah? He just needs to run. As he can, he's already a no ball here, mate, I think. Uh, he doesn't want to bend because. Uh, I can understand to get to that ball, but Brett's got to play a nigh on perfect ball just to, just to flop that over. I think he just needs to be two foot down the same hand, just pass his own. Brett's going over the top like that. What? Well, he bend. I don't think he's, he's got his own, has he? Yeah. Now he's the right. Big question is, has the ball gone off? Oh, he's all on the top edge. He's stopped on the edge of the ditch. Which is now a nasty one for Jack because he, he's going to struggle to beat that back ball. That back ball is Brett's that he's just followed through on. I don't, know if I'd, I don't even know if I'd run that back ball off. Run the back ball off, he hasn't got a shot apart from the draw. Aye. He's playing it as well. Hi! 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 Better cracker, Jack. Great ball. Oh, what a ball. Great ball on two scores. The ball itself, and he did what I said. Get and up you know, there. A double on, double Get on. In. Won't let it ever be said that I call the wrong shot. <laughs> Couldn't have played that any better. He's give Brett nothing. Rose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think Brett's pretty uh, acknowledging the fact that he ain't got much. He can draw a side toucher, and that's all he's got. And he's just the man to do it, Matt. To be fair, if he gets close enough to the top edge of the orange and just releases the jack a touch and runs off the side, then he makes it. But he looks wide to me. Oh, but I'll then again. He's not a mile away. He's not a mile he's away. He's coming down. He is not a mile away. He's coming down, mate. Great try. Will he fall? Oh, my word. My word <laughs> what an effort. What an effort. That's all he had, and he needed to play it absolutely perfect. What an effort. An inch further up, you'd have actually sat on top of the jack and sat jacks out. Yeah. Well, tiebreaker we are. Probably 
he never took it up as far as the last time, eh? No, he hasn't. Just under the line here as well. Give me a quick round up, guys, just while we're early on in this end. Over on the far side, Mark Higgins is 5 3 up the four ends, having lost the first set to Martin Rogan. Um, Craig Newton and Stuart Wiley have gone into a tie break. And I think Stuart actually won the first end of that tie break. Aaron Johnson is 3 0 up in the second set, having won the first set, it, and he's uh, played three ends. And Charlie Vance is 5 4 up now against Russell Buick, playing the last end. Gary Smith has just won his game. So, back to this, just a bit wide. The winner of this game will actually play Gary Smith. Is it? Yeah, all right. Straight back on as well. Jack gone quick at it. Looks under to me. Can you see that lucky? Jack. <laughs> I know. I know what you're going to say. Fantastic if you get it. If you get it, it's like you've probably won the end. Yeah. You get it clean enough. I think Brett still got, still knows what's coming next, though, doesn't he? I still got. He wasn't, he wasn't massively far away with his first two balls. Ball under and a ball wide. One in the middle of his last two and he's, he's drawn the shot. Now he's probably forced himself into having to go again. Eh? Last ball again. Yep, he's gone again. He's gone a bit quicker. Will he bend? It's ball to get a grab off. Nope. First tie break end of Brett. Confidence of youth, mate. That's what I'm going to put it down now. Because I know I, I, can, I can remember when I was younger, it was like some of my games were 35, 33 after 21 ends. It's, you, you always back yourself to play the shots, but I mean, he's he's, he's doing well to get back into oh, it. He's done really, really well. I mean, I was going to say that earlier on. He's, a lot of credit. he's found his pace again. He didn't really need to go up that quick at it. Yeah. If, if anything, he, if he was going to go quick, he might as well have gone really quick, quick at it. Yeah. So, we come into the second end of the three. Remember, it's just the best of three ends. The number of shots don't matter. A good start. Don't know who won that one over on far side. I've got a. Fancy that Stuart Wiley might have won he that did, one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he did. Hey. Hey. Hi, ball, please. Oh, yeah. Russell got on. Yep. Russell Buick, great stuff. Well, 
Need a ball from Jack here. Melanie, this is Stanley Indoor Ball and Club in the North East, County Durham. Oh, it's got a line, it needs to get out. Oh dear. Red drops are one about a foot short, mate. Just to, just to cover it up a little bit. Yeah. I think going as tight as he possibly can, really, doesn't he? Just wants to get right in there. A little touch on the jack wouldn't be a, a bad thing either. Slightly under the line, lad. Still plenty of room there to draw the shot. Well, now we tried. He's played two down the ditch side. He swapped his hand with his third. I've got crap in my leg. Oh, shit. That's what happens when you're 90. Oh. <laughs> the hamstring has gone. <laughs> Is he going to look for the white? Nah, he's got to draw this. Or he's he going to draw? draw this. He played two good balls down that hand. All he's got to do is. He's only going to ease 18 inches when he draws the shot. And if he draws the shot, he's got last ball going to the last end. He's got a good line. Just needs to run. Needs to run and stand. Needs to run and stand. Needs good length and he makes it. Go on the goal. No, it's a win. No, he's run out. And well, Brett through. Congratulations to Brett. Gets him through to the group final. Against uh, Gary Smith. Against Gary Smith. Come in. Oh, it does guarantee the area a local lad in the main draw. In the main draw, yes. So, folks, that's another one over with. We'll um, be back in about. Um, what time is it now? I don't know what time is it. Quarter it's about, past three. about five or ten minutes for the. Uh, there'll be a few group finals. We'll see what Jason's picked for us to stream. So, we'll see you soon, folks. Thanks for watching.